Okay, we're gonna read Chanel's quest and story time. Grandma, tell us the story of Shanlea, the children beg. Yes, said Kathleen. We want to hear about her island's adventures. And I want to know what's happened to the great tree, Adelia added. Outside, the cool night wind rustled the leaves in the trees and filtered through little cracks in the lodge. Peter added wood to the fire, while Grandmother set out the plate of her delicious cookies. I will tell you the story of Shanlea, the old woman said. But we must start at the very beginning. Come closer so I don't have to talk so loud. The children eagerly shared the cookies and scooted closer to hear the story. Here, Shanlea. <laughs> and then me. Yeah. It is early in the morning here in this water world that we meet Shanlea gazing at the reflection on of her earth-toned skin and sky blue eyes in the water beside her canoe. Shanlea picked up a poach of sacred flower petals. I ask for your blessings on this journey. Shanlea spread the flower petals out on the water to both sides of the canoe and continued. My grandfather said it is time for me to learn the secrets of the plants. I must learn to provide safe food and medicine for our people. She watched as the petals drifted away, then reached for her paddle and added, Thank you for watching over me. With home behind her, she paddled slowly and gracefully towards the lowly green islands dotting the horizon. Finding Mint Island. You must find Mint Island. Shanleria remembered grandfather's words in her mind. And bring back the spice that makes our food taste so good. There were more than 300 islands out there, each inhabited by a different family of closely related plants. Grandfather gave the eager youngster a map to steer her towards Mint Island, which she had correctly identified from the other islands around it. Look for square stamps and opposite leaves grandfather told her. And be sure to smell the plants. Most of them have a spicy, minty aroma. Shanlea had no doubt when she found Mint Island. She smelled the sweet and spicy herbs in the morning breeze long before reaching shore. The girl tied her canoe to a sturdy clump of mints at the water edge and grabbed her collecting bag. She identified mint, peppermint, and spearmint by smell alone. Still, she checked the plants to be safe. And yes, they had square stems and opposite leaves, just as the grandfather said they would. She admired the odd-looking irregular flowers, too. Would you like to come here? Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> Good morning, yeah. Miss Sanlia jumped at the sound of the voice behind her and turned around to meet the guardian of Mint Island. He stood straight and square with red and white striped, striped candy cane for a walking stick and a stately crown of wild bergamot flowers upon his head. Shanlea knew immediately that this guardian was among the friendliest she would ever meet. Oh, I'm so sorry to startle you, he apologized, handing her a candid mint leaf. Hmm. At home, Shanlea often has her mother make candies just like that. They dip fresh mint leaves in a thick syrup and dry them in the sun. Oh, thank you, said the girl. Grandfather sent me here to learn about all the plants on, on Mint Island. Could you show me around? I would ha be happy to show you around, the guardian said. Shemre I collect collected a mint stalk to chew on as she as as she traveled. She thanked the guardian for his kindness, then returned to her co canoe, canoe yeah. and paddled to the next island. The secret combination to Mustard Island. 
please. Master, islands were different from the others. The, the guardian saw the girl paddling toward the island and welcomed her ashore. I have a challenge for you, he offered. If you know the combination to Mustard Island, then you are welcome to come collect mustard beans any time. But if you do not know the combination, then I will ban you from this island forever. The guardian pointed to a pile of wooden pieces carved and painted to look like a fl flower parts. The challenge was to put the right parts in the right order to create a model of, of a mustard flower. Shanann knew this game well. She had played this with a similar model in Grandfather's Lodge for as long as she could remember. When she put the model together correctly, Grandfather gave her a special treat. A spicy yellow brown paste made of crushed mustard seeds. Shanann liked to spread the mustard paste on a sandwich of roasted gazelle and lettuce. Ooh. There are more than 3,200 unique species here, and they are all edible, so help yourself. Shania gathered some mustard greens for salad, plus ripe seeds for grandfather's mustard paste. After helping the guardian turn over a patch of ground to grow more mustard, she gave him a hug and sat out for the next island. Can you all smell that mint? I just smelled it. Okay. The stems are kind of squarish. Stems are square. Oh, oh now they smell just yeah. okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the patterns for eight families, all eight families, really quickly. So in each one of these, square stems and opposite leaves. Those are all mints. Those are all mint family plants, yes. Okay. Sean Leia is paddling her canoe to each of the uh, what we call the tree islands, and each island is home to a different family of plants. So when she gets to Pea Island, the guardian of the Pea Islands Pe has pea. put up uh, what is kind of a uh, Wait, pea flower. Okay, yep. okay. What pea flowers have is they have a banner petal, they have two wing petals like that, like wings on a bird, and they have a keel, like the keel of a boat, wings and keel. And you can see that like in this alfalfa, banner, wings, and keel. Oh. And if you look very closely at this clover, you'll see that it's made up of a whole bunch of flowers, teeny tiny flowers, and each one has its own banner, wings, and keel. Aster. Aster. Grass. Aster. Rose. Aster. Pea. Parsley. Pea. 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 Pea.